the escalating plastic waste crisis possess a grave threat to the environment, manifesting in multi-phasic consequences like clogged drainage systems, culminating in destructive floods, and the pervasive contamination of rivers and oceans with discarded trash. The root cause lies in the pervasive disposal of single-use plastics. This departmental cycle not only disrupts ecosystems, but also jeopardizes human well-being as communities grapple with the repercussions of inundated urban areas and the profound impact on the aquatic life. The purpose of our study is to develop an Arduino-based system called iTrade, reverse vending machine for empty plastic bottles. It's in sustainable waste management solution, specifically targeting empty plastic bottles, and develop third app for the staff management. Aims to address the serious environmental issues of plastic waste and its negative impact on the environment, wildlife, and people, and increase awareness of the scale of plastic waste production and consumption in the world, and to highlight the consequences of plastic waste. In order to assist in reducing waste, this study aims to develop reverse vending machine that offers rewards in exchange for plastic bottles culture of recycling and encourage individuals to take action to reduce waste and protect the environment. The general objective of the study will be to develop an Arduino basis as a sustainable movement for waste management solutions, especially for empty plastic bottles. To create this IoT device, the researchers gather data through surveys, interviews, online articles, academic articles, assisting literature and studies to collect information or to develop effective reverse vending methods. The research team conducted comprehensive investigations to gain a deeper understanding of the current state and trends in plastic waste management and recycling. The aim was to uncover best practices and innovate solutions for the project's successful implementation. In order to create this device, the hardware and software that the researcher used was Arduino Mega 2560, Power Supply 12V 5A, Node MCU, Ultrasonic Sensor, IR Sensor, Inductive Proximity Sensor, Tilt Switch 520D, 20x4 LCD with IQC, 45V Input DC-DC, Step down converter, push button circle, Allen Universal coin slot with anti hooking, servo motor, capacitive sensor, Arduino IDE, Blink, Blender, and Adobe Photoshop. These tools and technologies collectively played vital roles in the successful development of our reverse vending machine. The researchers employed a variety of visual aids to support the development of the IoT device and application. A circuit diagram provided a visual representation of the device's electrical connections and components. A flowchart outlined the sequence of actions and decisions point of the IoT device's development process. The storyboard played a crucial role in planning and refining the user interface design before implementation. A user manual was used to provide to allow users to learn how to use the mobile app to its full potential with the help of clean and comprehensive instructions to conveniently manage the IoT device. An architectural design offered an overall structural framework for the IoT machine. The plan chart was used to schedule and manage projects, allowing for effective time management and progress tracking throughout the development process. These visual tools collectively aided the development team in constructing a more efficient and effective IoT device and application. The developed IoT device has the following features. First, bottle slot detector, detecting unwanted materials, segregate plastic bottles and unwanted materials, coin dispenser, LCD for total reward, detect force, plastic bin storage, Unwanted material bin storage, coin slot for donation option. For the developed mobile application, has to follow its features. First, monitoring for trash bin, monitoring for coin stop, 
What is it usually when the bottle is charged with dirty fuel? What is it usually when coins are insufficient? And lastly, what is it usually when tampers are detected in the machine? This IoT device application would be deployed in Mabalaka City, Montanga. So how does iTrade system works? Arduino based vending machine entitled iTrade reverse vending machine for empty plastic bottles. It features the ability to accept plastic bottles within a specific diameter range from 5.5 cm to 8.6 cm, offering credits to the users. For every 5 empty plastic bottles inserted, users earn 1 test of credit. When inserting plastic bottles, make sure that the bottles are completely empty and avoid using too much force as it can affect the sensor reading. Just use enough force for the bottles to slide properly. It is also important to insert bottles one at a time for proper reading and tracking of bottle counts and credits. In the LCD, you can see the bottle count and credits equivalent to the number of bottles inserted to the machine. The bottles inserted by the user is 6 and its equivalent credit is 1 peso. Now, let's insert more bottles. Now, let's look inside the machine. Once the bottle is inserted, the sensor near to the barrier will read if there is an object and it will send a signal to the servo to open the barrier once the object is detected. And the IR sensor at the top will count the object, pass through it, and the bottle will go to its trash bin. In the LCD, it shows that the user inserted 10 bottles and has a credit of 2 peso. Once done inserting bottles, press and hold the green button to claim the earned credits. After pressing the button, a coin dispenser will now dispense your reward. You can only dispense one coin at a time. As you can see, it's not continuously dispensing the coin. The system can also accept other materials like can, but it won't be credited as it can only give reward to plastic bottles. It will show in the LCD and recognize object detected once other materials is inserted. Let's look inside. Here, you can see that the can inserted by the user has fell to its trash bin. The servo will open the lower part of the pipe so the unwanted material will go to its assigned trash bin. And after a few seconds, to close again. For the coin dispenser, when the sensor detects that the coin tower has a low stock of coins, the pipe will be closed and it will show in the LCD the word machine unavailable when the system is unable to operate due to low stock of coins. The system also has a donation slot that accepts all the new 1, 5, and 10 peso coins. It will show in the LCD the total donation the user inserted. The accumulated donation will be given to the ITA community. Now, for the mobile application, the assigned administrator can monitor the trash bin and coin availability of the system. The do gauge will serve as the status of the bin and the coin tower. In the coin dispenser, when the whiteboard moving higher or lower, the ultrasonic sensor will detect and show in the application the percentage of the coin stock.
placed in the distance of the ultrasonic and the whiteboard. Also, the sensor placed beside the conning tower was set as threshold to the dispenser. When the wire attached to it mets, it will send notification indicating that the coin tower has insufficient coins and it needs to be refilled. Same as for the trash bin, it should the person feature the application based on the distance of the bottles and the ultrasonic. It will show how the bottles or the trash bin is occupied. The sensor attached to the trash bin was used to set the threshold that when it touches the wires attached to it, the notification will be sent to the application indicating that the trash bin is nearly full. For the tilt sensor attached to the eye tray, it will detect the force within the system. It is to detect if someone is trying or breaking the machine. When the sensor detects that the machine was tilted or detects a certain force, it will send the notification to the application indicating that someone is trying to break the machine. In order to successfully meet the prototype objectives, the researchers systematically conducted multiple trial and error processes to verify the performance and consistency of the system. Thorough research was conducted to identify the necessary software and hardware components for constructing the IoT device. Multiple diagrams were used to guide and facilitate the development process. The device is accessible for the users. Meanwhile, the paired mobile application is designed for the monitoring purposes of the designated administrator. A prototype for the study system was successfully built, containing essential functionalities. This includes the bottle slot that detects and segregates empty plastic bottles and unwanted materials into their respective bins. The LCD accurately displays the amount of credits, inserted bottles, and dispenses points based on earth credits. The system can detect force on the machine and a mobile application sends notifications to the administrator when the trash bin is full, the coin stock is insufficient, or first is detected to the machine. With regards to the SDGs, the researchers believe that the i has met a sustainable development goals that are anchored to the objectives of the developed system. Sustainable goals that the system successfully achieved are the SDG 9, Industry Innovation and Infrastructure. Under this SDG is the 9.5, Enhanced Scientific Research, Upgrade the technological capabilities of industrial sectors in all countries, in particular developing countries. The reverse vending machine is an Arduino based system and is associated mobile application as a valuable technological advancement in waste management. It successfully addresses the problem of plastic waste by combining scientific study with technical developments. DG 9.B Support domestic technology develop, research, and innovation in developing countries. The system that the researchers develop can be implemented locally, especially in the countries that are underdeveloped. This method encourages domestic technology development and innovation in the waste management industry. Next is the SDG 12, Responsible Consumption and Production. Under this SDG is a 12.5. Substantially reduce waste generation through prevention, reduction, recycling, and reuse. The main objective of the developed i tree system is to decrease waste production by providing incentives for recycling and responsible consumption using the RVM or the reverse vending machine. It encourages plastic trash reduction, recycling, and prevention. Next is the SDG 13, Climate Action. Under this SDG is the 13.3, Improve education, awareness raising, and human and institutional capacity on climate change mitigation, adaptation, impact reduction, and early warning. In an effort to support education and awareness raising efforts concerning climate change, the developed i treat machine aims to raise awareness about the environmental effects of plastic waste. It emphasizes the value of recycling and minimizing the ecological impact of plastic trash. Lastly, the SDG 14, Life Below Water. Under this SDG is the 14.1, prevent and significantly reduce marine pollution of all kinds, in particular from land-based activities, including marine debris and nutrient pollution. Marine contamination is largely caused by plastic pollution. The purpose of the SDG 14.1 
is to prevent the substantially decreased marine pollution, including marine debris. The IQ system directly helps the school by encouraging the responsible disposal of plastic bottles and eliminating plastic waste at the source. So this is the IQ system that was built to help lessen the plastic pollution, promote recycling, and avoid possible effects in the marine environment.